hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that how to make a short uh, slideshow with images and audio inside node.js so basically let me just show you the end product that we will be building here so this is my video slideshow with audio so if i play it friends today in now you will hear the audio the which will be your code theme that alongside with the images so you will see that this is the label which is showing you this is the first pick this is the second pick if i just uh, you can see that labels is also appearing in the slideshow so these are the images and the audio that you are uh, hearing is my video audio you the visual studio code theme you can put any audio of your choice so this is the same way that you just make any so any sort of video slideshow that you uh, watch on youtube that so, i use and it came across so i just i will be telling you that how to make these video slide shows using node.js library which is video show so basically if you search on google there is a name of the library which is video show so just type video show on google and the very first result which comes in and also after that you also need to write npm so this is a node package module which is used to generate video slideshow with the help of ffmpg library so the requirements is that you should be having ffmpg library installed onto your computer so if you don't install it just go to ffmpg and go to their official website and download the executables for windows by clicking these buttons so now after you download it you can check it by going to command prompt and writing ffmpg and this command will work so this will signify that you have successfully downloaded the ffmpg library now just go to this uh, link and just execute npm i video show so just make a empty node.js project by initializing npm init dash y so this will create the empty package.json file and then execute npm i video show this is the command so this will install it inside your package.json file i have already installed it so if you open your package.json file your dependency section you will see a dependency which is video show now i will write the entire code from scratch so first of all just make the index.js file for your node.js project and first of all you need to include the video show library you need to require it so this will be video show library which we have installed here you can see that and now you need to include the images that will be there inside your video show slide show so i have this images folder and three images are there image 1.png image 2.png and image 3.png so i will make a images folder and then inside this will be an array of objects so the first object this will be having a property of path so here we need to provide the path so it is there inside the images folder and the name is image 1.png that's it now we need to repeat this for the another image the path is simply images and the second image is image 2.png and now we need to repeat it for the third image also so the path property will be equal to dot slash images slash image 3 dot png so now we have successfully spe specified the images now we need to have our video options so we will declare another variable which will be video options so inside this this will be object so the first property will be the length of the video duration so which can be specified by the loop property so how many seconds of video that you want to have so i will specify here let's suppose uh, 10 second or 5 second that's it and you can just go to their documentation this is a plugin documentation you can see all the options that i am referring to i am writing the same code you can just copy paste it and the second option that i will specify is the fps frame per second so this you can set as 25 this is a normal value and next i will just write the options so these are the more options that you can see on the page i have just copy pasted it so transition to true you can even uh, switch that to false 
ट्रांजिशन ड्यूरेशन इज वन वीडियो बिट्रेट वीडियो कोडेक साइज यू कैन स्पेसिफाई योर ओन साइज ऑडियो बिट्रेट ऑडियो चैनल फॉर्मेट यू कैन चेंज टू ए वी आई ऑल दैट स्टफ बट द डिफॉल्ट वन इज एम पी फोर सो आफ्टर स्पेसिफाइंग द वीडियो ऑप्शन नाउ वी जस्ट नीड टू कॉल द वीडियो शो लाइब्रेरी सो लेट मी जस्ट क्रिएट सम स्पेस सो वी कैन जस्ट कॉल द फंक्शन वीडियो शो एंड इन साइड दिस वी कैन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पास ओवर images options and then the video options and then there is a option inside this which is save you need to save your file by the save function so here you can just give it a unique name to your video slide show so i will give it slide show dot mp4 and then there is a on function so there are some events inside this function so whenever the conversion is started you can just listen for these events so the start event is there there will be a callback function so here you can just console log to the user that conversion started and then you can concatenate the command like this and there is another function which is for the error also so if any kind of error take place then this callback function will execute there is side this this will be having three options standard output standard error so here inside this you can just console log uh some error occurred and then you can concatenate the error and the last one is when the conversion is completed we have this end uh, event which will trigger automatically so we can just listen for that event and then the callback function holding the output file and then we can just say to the user console log that uh, conversion completed and then we can concatenate the output that's it now if i run this script which is node index.js So if I just go to the command prompt and write node index dot js, so it will run the script, and it will convert these three images to a video slideshow. So just wait; it is executing the command. So you can see that conversion started, and this is a command. And now it will print it out. If no error take place, conversion completed with the output file. So just wait. so it takes some time early on which when you convert the files here Uh, let me just see the code here like i think this is a object but let me just see i think that we have made a mistake here uh, we need to just uh, surround this inside this square brackets <coughs> we need to remove this path here because we are not specifying a object so we just need to remove this path here so just remove this curly brackets from here
can put a comma here so now we are just specifying the images so let me just see if I rerun this it is saying to us that conversion completed so let me just see if the conversion is completed so if I go to the folder so it now you can see that it has created the slideshow so this is a file so now you can see that it has created the slideshow which contains three images so these are the three images that is created the slideshow so our code was correct it was just taking some time so just wait for the command to finish the code was correct let me just uh, control z and so now you can make some slight modifications in order to add a text onto the video we can add a second property to it which is uh, let me just see the documentation so there is a caption property which is available so caption is somewhat a label so here you can just provide the label so this is a first pick and similarly you can provide this caption property to the second image this is a second image and uh, you can also provide to the third image so now if I re-execute it so hopefully it will add the captions at the bottom of the video so now you can see that conversion completed so now if I open the video which it has created this is slideshow so now if I open this you will see the captions appearing this is a first pic uh, this is a second image and this is a third image so in this way you can add the captions so the third option that I need to tell you if you want a specific image to take a specific amount of time then you can add a third property which is loop so you can have five seconds so basically this image will take five seconds inside the video slideshow accordingly the length of the video will vary so here you can attach the loop to let's suppose two seconds and this will appear the third image will have loop to zero seconds and the last property that I want to show you is that how to add the audio so there is an audio method here which is dot audio that you can specify and here you need to specify your audio file which we have is sample.mp3 that's it so now if I recompile this so it will have the audio file as well inside the video slideshow so basically you can attach any music background music to this video slideshow depending upon you I am not using any mu music file due to copyright on this video so that is why so now you can see that slideshow now if I open this uh, hello friends today in this tutorial you will see I will be showing you the visual studio code theme that I use in day to day basis while programming so this is a theme that I came across so in this way with the help of this video show library in node.js and ffmpg you can create a good video slideshow at your own computer system with the help of images so thanks very much for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video